And so I want you to start to think about the holistic nature of what it means to be a human being, what it means to be a leader, and what it means to be running a company. It's not just getting the money and it's not just getting the bottom line to work, but it's looking at what do you need to do to create those relationships that will support the achievement of these goals. Some companies have lots of green in different places, and some companies have more green in different places. And so as we look at what it is that causes this dynamic tension in the C-suite, we are trying to help you find out what are the conversations that you need to have together. One of the things we've learned that causes us not to have good conversations are the following things. This is our gauge. On the left side is protect behavior. How many people know what the amygdala is or have heard of amygdala hijacking? Okay, for people who haven't, I'm gonna show it to you again. Uh, let's, do a, let's, let's make your hand into a brain. If everybody will take your hand and put your thumb in the center and put the top over it like this, this is your brain, so you can carry around this picture with you at all times. Um, these connections here are from the heart. There are more connections that go from the heart into the brain than from the brain back to the heart. That means their heart is the first brain, most important brain. It's the meter that reads the energy and chemistry in the room. As you go up, you have the amygdala, which is the oldest brain. This amygdala is as old as when we were Neolithic and before. This is the, the kind of brain that every animal has. This is the brain that when you hear about fight, flight, and freeze, this is what gets triggered when somebody tells you, you ain't got the money to do what you want to do, okay? Um, by the way, for women, since there are women here as well, women, when you're under stress, trigger something else. You actually trigger more of the oxytocin. You want to talk to people about it. Where men, there's a gender difference, tend to want to fight about it. And then for the, for the, <laughs> for the women that are here who've made it to the C-suite, 25% um, of men's brains are like women's and women's brains are like men's. So you figure out who you are in this room. <laughs> Okay, so this is the amygdala. In here is the limbic brain, and this is where memories get stored. So everything that's positive and negative in our life gets put in this vault. And so we remember it, and, and we don't always, are not always conscious of it, but how many times have you walked in a room and seen somebody who reminds you of somebody you didn't like, and instantly you have this reaction to that person? You've pulled out a memory. Everything gets stored here. Um, this part of the brain is, is interesting. This is the neocortex. There's a left brain. How have you heard of left brain, right brain? Okay, good, we're good, 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 okay. Um, so the left brain and the right brain are actually two parts of the brain that are connected by the corpus callosum. We used to think that left brain was logical brain, and when I first started in this field, my work was actually with accountants, uh, mostly accountants, and I remember always doing tests on them so that they could realize that even though people labeled them as being only left brain people, it was not, in fact, the case. They didn't have a split brain. It wasn't cut in the middle. They were very much heart brains, and you know that because you're shaking your heads. <laughs> So left brain is, is now thought of, by the way, this is right brain, so when they're together, they're supposed to give you what's creative and what's logical, but the new thinking about the brain is that the left brain is about stability and the right brain is about growth. Think about the conversations you've been having over the last couple of days. Stability, how do we make sense of the present and how do we grow? And so if you fight inside the C-suite, generally the fighting intention is around these two brains trying to figure out do we focus on now or can we really focus on the future? The youngest brain and the most important one, and the one and the reason why you're here, is to understand the connection between the heart brain and the prefrontal cortex, and that is right here. The prefrontal cortex is the newest brain. It's the brain that in fact has mirror neurons, which is over on the right side, and that's the part that you need to partner with people. Mirror neurons are actually little things in the brain, they're not little, they're actually big, that would, as I'm standing here talking, in order for you to understand me, you in fact need to be triggering your mirror neurons and then making sense of what I'm doing. Mirror neurons is what people need to connect to each other and step into each other's shoes. And the more we enable that type of connectivity with people, the more we're gonna change the world. And it's not about gender, this is about both men and women.